Hello, this is Leland from ThemeLab.com and this is a video tutorial on how to install the latest version of WordPress. Okay, right now I'm on the WordPress.org website and this is where you're going to be downloading the latest version which at the moment is version 2.5.1. Okay, I'm just going to click that. Save to disk. desktop. Okay, the download is complete. So I'm going to open that up. And extract all the files. This might take a minute depending on your computer speed. Okay, it's done extracting. Just go ahead and open up your FTP client of choice. Mine would be FileZilla. I'm going to connect to my FTP server. Go to the public underscore HTML directory. That's basically the directory which publishes to the web. And open up the WordPress directory. Highlight or select everything and drag it on over. Now this will also, this might take a few minutes, it's about four megabytes uploading. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, the uploading is complete. I'm gonna go set up the database now. I'm gonna go to your hosting control panel now this may this look may vary depending on your web host but it should be the same when you access the MySQL databases now the first thing you want to do is set up the WordPress database and I'm just going to call it WordPress and you need to set up a user to connect to the database I'm going to call this um, user I'm going to use cPanel's Generate Password feature to create a password. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Create user. Go back. Then I'm going to add this user to the database so it has access to all privileges. Okay, now you set up your database and now you're going to access the URL you just uploaded WordPress on uh, and it says you need to create a configuration file so we're going to use the database details that we just created that's the database name Notice the prefix that I'm using. This is what cPanel does. And you need to make sure everything is exact. That's the password. Now the table prefix, you can leave this alone if you want, but some people prefer to change it for security reasons. I'm just going to leave it how it is for now. Okay, I'm going to run the install. Type in the blog name. Then type in my email address. Hope I don't get any spam from this. And then this last checkbox will, if you uncheck it, it'll basically block your blog from the search engines. I wouldn't recommend you un uncheck this box. And that's about it. WordPress has been installed. We're going to log into the admin panel just to make sure everything's okay with the password that was just automatically generated for us. And this is the WordPress 2.5 dashboard. It's really that easy to install WordPress. I'm going to visit the site, the default WordPress theme I'm sure you're all familiar with. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this first video tutorial from themelab.com. 
my name is Leland, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the RSS feed. Thank you for watching.